The Raiders may have a better record than the 49ers, but there is much more excitement down in Santa Clara because of one guy, and that is who? Jimmy G. Now, the last time the Raiders played the Texans, the defense had trouble covering Houston's tight ends as they combined for 10 catches for 128 yards. And Reggie Nelson said that can't happen if they want to win the football game Saturday. And he told me the adjustment is simple. Don't let the tight ends catch the football. Something you were not asked during the press conference and my Twitter timeline has been blowing up and my <laughs> app mentions have been blowing up about this. Uh, will you bring on Rich Gannon, the former Raiders quarterback and former NFL MVP, as your quarterback's coach? I don't know. I'm going to talk to Rich. Rich and I argued every day when I was coaching him. I don't know if I want to argue every day with him now, but. Uh... It's your rookie season. You're an undrafted free agent, and you have made a huge impact on this team. And guess what? The Oakland Raiders are 10 and 2. What does it mean to be a part of this special season for the Oakland Raiders? No, nah, it, it, it's an unbelievable feeling, man. Frustrating, sad, angry, disappointed. Those are all words to describe the emotion inside that Raiders locker room after their loss to the Texans. The Raiders have won won two straight games, but they've also played two really bad teams, the Broncos and the Giants. So how much stock are you putting into those two Raider wins? Then you'll see the best out of Derek because uh, Gruden will bring it out of him. Yeah, he's going to challenge him, which obviously is a good thing. But at the same time, John Gruden has not coached since 2008. So what makes you believe that he is the guy to take this franchise to the next level? Four of the world's top foil fencers practice out of this club, three of them on Team USA. Now the red, white, and blue have captured several medals at the Olympic Games in men's fencing but none of them have been gold. Coach Masiales has Team USA in prime position to make history in Rio. You lost both your parents before you were even 10 years old. Can you even describe the, the pain and the emptiness that that left you as a kid? It was terrible. When you were drafted, did you ever have a moment like, man, I just wish my parents were here to see this? Of course. I think about it all the time. While Colin Kaepernick has gained national steam, he's also gained a ton of local support with his protests. On Friday, Nightcap joined an Oakland High School football team during their protest because he wanted to thank them. Kaepernick attended Castlemont High School's football game where numerous players were photographed lying on their backs with their hands raised while Cap kneeled during the pregame playing of the national anthem. Now, he also spoke with the players before the game, telling them, quote, you are important. You make a difference. This matters. Everything you do matters. Well, Nelson is hoping to lead the Raiders' young secondary to a win over Drew Brees and company in New Orleans. But having faced Brees several times in his career, he knows it's not going to be an easy task. And when asked if he's ever picked off Brees in his career, he said, I don't think so, but I'll probably start that this week. Well, we did our homework, and he has once, December 5th, 2010. So maybe Sunday will be number two. Yeah, Henry, the dubs are rolling Saturday night. Even without their glue guy in the lineup, the Warriors stuck together and got past a young and talented Timberwolves team. Let's show you how it happened. Warriors, T-Wolves, dubs playing without Draymond Green and Ian Clark. Closing seconds of the first half, Kevin Durant shakes Ricky Rubio, buries the long triple at the buzzer. Yeah, that's just ridiculous. Gives the Dubs an eight-point lead at the half. Durant pumped up. Third quarter, Steph Curry showing off his handles. Multiple crossovers. And then finger rolls it in. Curry game high, 34 points. Warriors win 115-102. The Splash Brothers and Kevin Durant combined for 85 points. Now get this, KD dropped 28 and becomes the first player in franchise history to post 25 points, 10 rebounds, five assists, and five blocks in a game. Hey Henry, oh my goodness. Talk about the tale of two halves. The Raiders completely dominated the Carolina Panthers in the first half, but when Derek Carr went down with a dislocated finger to start the third quarter, it really took the win out of the Raiders' sails, and the entire Coliseum went quiet, but when he came back, the place erupted. Time now to bring in our Raiders insider, Scott Bear, who joins us from Raiders headquarters, and Scott, obviously the big news is Derek Carr's injury. It was worse than we thought. He has a minor fracture in his spine and may be out for two to six weeks. So how big of a blow is this for this Raiders team, Scott? Well, entering this season, everyone expected it to be a three-team race in the NL West, but that is not the case. The Giants with a stronghold right now in the division. Are you surprised by that, Rich? 
Now, with 45 points from their bench, Game 1 displayed just how complete and deep of a team the Warriors are. But it was their defensive effort they take the most pride in, with Andre Iguodala in charge of the toughest task, having to guard LeBron James. So I asked Andre if he ever looks back on film of his big defensive stops and strips on LeBron, and he told me, no. He said, I actually don't look at positive film at all. I focus more on the defensive breakdowns and the miscues because I don't want to get too full of myself, and it helps me keep my edge. Derek Carr and the Raiders offense have scored over 30 points four times this season and average over 26 points per game. Meanwhile, the Vikings own the league's second best scoring defense. They also had the league's leading rusher in Adrian Peterson, but the Raiders sport a top 10 run defense. Now the Vikings have been on a roll, winning four straight, and are sitting on top of the NFC North with the Packers at 6-2. Meanwhile, the Raiders have let a few close ones slip away and need to find the win column to keep their playoff chances alive. Yeah, no doubt about that, Papa. The doors just opened up about 20 minutes ago, so fans are still filing in here. And it may look a little empty right now, but trust me, come tip off, it's going to look like the Warriors are playing a home game and that they're not in Cleveland because the official Warriors watch party is sold out. How about that? Talk about strength in numbers, right? And each fan that comes in, in here they're gonna get one of these a cheer card it says all gold everything finals 2017 in the back again strength in numbers with a picture of all the players here as well alex madison bumgarner he's on pace to pitch a whopping 232 innings this season so how will bruce bochi manage his workload for the second half hey guys i'm found smith with your sportsnet central update now that was a catch, at least I think it was. And as some of you may know, that's been the problem in the NFL these days. What is a catch? We have some good news though, folks. Today, NFL owners voted unanimously to simplify the catch rule and my catch would have been ruled a catch on game day. Oh yeah, okay, so here it is. A catch is now defined as having control, being in bounds, and making a quote, football move. Surviving the ground is no longer required, which means some of those infamous no catches in the past would actually now be ruled a catch, like Des Bryant's in 2014 against Green Bay, which cost the Cowboys a playoff win. If I was a fan, I'd be mad. Um, you have now moved over to the dark side. You are mm -hmm. one of us. You're one of us now. And today, you probably <laughs> I thought asked... when I played with the Raiders, it was the dark side. Is there no, another no, dark there's side? There's another dark side, the media. It's you ready oh, Let's be oh, real. Okay. Let's be real, <laughs> Charles. Uh, but you probably asked the best question in the entire press conference. Is there a no trade clause in your contract, coach? Well, that, that was important. That the, was pretty the, good. The fans want to know. The players want to know. So, Festus, you missed a significant amount of time with the knee injury, but you're back just in time for playoffs. How's the knee holding up? Well, when Bogut was in foul trouble in game one, you had to come in and help defend Dwight Howard. Now, you know he's going to get his touches, but how can you neutralize what he does in the paint? You forgot a liquid beverage yeah. to wash it all down with is what you forgot. <laughs> Oh, oh, geez. Oh, God. oh my gosh. <laughs> that was pretty bold right there. That was ketchup, right? Or barbecue sauce or something? As hot sauce. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I don't really know what I was thinking when I signed up for this. I really have to reevaluate the decisions that yeah. I have made in my life, including this one. Don't flip over. That's my tip for you. Do not flip over. Here I go. Here I go. Hold on, let me just use this. No, reach out, not. reach out, reach out. Oh, you got, oh. <laughs> I got this one right here. Okay, we got one more. Let's go, Buck. Oh, no, hold on. Oh, shh. Oh. Oh. Hey, Ahmed. Yeah, Ahmed. Fell. YOLO, bro. YOLO. You know what that means? You YOLO. only live once, you right? Only live once. What are you gonna what are you what Let's are you about to do? Hey, are you, is she doing what I think she's doing? She's taking the microphone off. That water's pretty cold, so he's there going, you go, really doing she's going in. Oh, she's gonna oh. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Yes. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> well so done. Well there done. There you go. Well Girl. done, Fallon. Drink as much milk as your little belly can hold. The ideal is the whole milk. That's the ideal. Thank you for that question. Faldi, I don't know about whole milk, but 1%, uh, I could do that. Yeah, Coach likes the whole milk. You know, when he was a kid, he drank a ton of milk, so he would be 6'3". Keep drinking. Keep drinking and keep growing. Don't stop. Do not stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. <laughs> that 
also disgusting. <laughs>